Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the week and weekend ahead, brought to you exclusively by Fly Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. I knew that you wouldn't mind me being very comfy here today and recording this from my sofa because it's so cold outside and uh, we've even got some snow flurries here in the Midlands, although I know there's more further east, so uh, I hope you don't mind. But probably like a lot of you aren't flying at the moment, you're just taking it easy, ready for those days when flying resumes. We had a great weather school at the weekend thanks to those who came along to part one session one of Aviation Weather School. We've got the second session coming up this weekend. Had some great fun going through the charts looking at this cold weather coming in and making forecasts for our flying during this week. Um, if you'd like to get yourself onto the next Aviation Weather School part one and enhance your ability to make forecasts yourself and plan ahead and get ready for that time when we're out of lockdown, we can go flying again. But you want to make sure that when you book the aircraft, the forecast is as good as it can be. Then get yourself booked on to the next course. I'm about to announce dates this week. And if you'd like to be told, first of all, when those dates become available so you can book straight away, you know these, for these courses do fill up quickly. Go to Weather School co.uk click on the contact us section and click on contact and there you've got a contact form just filling your details there tell us uh, that you'd like to be um, told when the next weather school dates are and we'll make sure that you get an email as soon as those are announced it would be great to see you on the next aviation or weather school as i say i'm hoping to announce those dates this week Okay then, on with the forecast, and it looks like being pretty cold, or very cold, as we go through the course of this week. Some snow showers are likely in the east, and most of the snow showers will be early on in the week. Generally, it's drier later. It's going to be flyable for some of us during the week, although we're always quite breezy. And I think um, whenever we get an easter or southeasterly in the UK, they're always quite scrappy winds. So uh, just a quick reminder there for you to email your uh, details for us uh, to be told when the next weather school is. So this is how things shape up then for today, for Monday. We've got a strong easterly wind coming in uh, during the course of Monday afternoon. That's going to be bringing some showers with it. Those showers are wintry over eastern coasts and hills. Further west, it should be generally dry through the afternoon. Marginal here. I'm going to say marginal just because of the gustiness of the winds, but it is flyable. The um, cloud is going to be broken, so it's better conditions, certainly off towards the east. As we get into Tuesday, very little change really. This easterly flow persists. You see here these troughs out in the North Sea. They're actually convergence lines. They're aligned with the wind and they're just feeding bands of showers down these eastern coasts. So what I'm going to say is it's marginal to non-VFR down those eastern coasts during the course of the day on Tuesday. Bases 1,000 to 2,000 feet, depending on whether you're in snow showers or not. Top us at about 10 to 15,000 feet. Uh, further west looks better. I'm going to say flyable to marginal here, more marginal the further south you go because of the strength of the winds and probably far south of Ireland, far southwest of England going into non-VFR conditions here because of the strength of the wind and some snow there later. Generally bases three to 4,000 feet tops at about 8,000 feet. A classic polar continental flow there. On to Wednesday, that polar continental flow is still with us. Still got this easterly flow affecting all parts of the country. And we're going to be seeing some wintry showers down these eastern coasts. Again, making for marginal to non-VFR conditions at times down the eastern coast of the country. Bases around 2,000 feet. Tops are going to be at around 12 to uh, perhaps 14,000 feet. Further west actually is looking much better. It looks here as if we do stay with fair conditions. I think bases around 4,000 feet, tops at about 10,000 feet, and it is generally flyable for those who can manage to get flying. Winds are going to be lighter through Wednesday as well. Thursday, winds picking up again in the west on Thursday. Still a few snow showers down these eastern coasts, still going for marginal at times, but generally better with some flyable conditions as well. I think further west, the problem is going to be the wind making it non verifiable in Ireland for most of us with a southeasterly flow gusting up to 25 or 30 knots and making it marginal too across the far southwest of England. Elsewhere, generally flyable, but it will be breezy with that southeasterly flow. Typical base is 4,000 feet, tops at about 10,000 feet. Watch for some 2,000 foot bases 
off towards the east in those showers. And then for Friday, well, again, fairly breezy on Friday, but I think some snow across western Scotland, perhaps western parts of Northern Ireland, Western Wales, Southwest England. I'm going to say marginal to non-VFR here because of that uh, snow that will come in. Elsewhere, marginal across central parts of Scotland. Could be some snow showers here. I think for most of England and Wales, I'm going to go marginal to non-VFR. There will be the remnants of some snow hanging around here. Bases around two to 3,000 feet. Tops at around 10,000 feet. Further west, though, one to 2,000 foot bases and the tops at around 15,000 feet with that increased breeze. And then headed in towards the weekend for Saturday, the high tries to get back in again on Saturday. Quite a brisk southeasterly flow. Overall, I'm going to say marginal to VFR conditions. The marginal is because of the strength of the wind. Base is 4,000 feet, tops at about 8,000 feet. And really, apart from that breeze, will be fairly flyable conditions. And it's similar on Sunday as well. Quite a brisk southeasterly breeze, making for marginal conditions for all. Not that much cloud around. It's going to be well broken, but very scrappy. Probably quite turbulent. Base is 4,000 feet. Tops at about 8,000 feet. But watch those fronts. Southern Ireland, far southwest of Wales, southwest England, making for non-VFR conditions here as snow moves in and uh, rain follows. One to 2,000 foot bases. 12,000 foot tops but quite a long way off so things could change and of course we will keep you updated throughout here at weatherweb.net okay don't forget to, to uh, send us an email if you want us to let you know as soon as the uh, next dates are announced for aviation weather school part one loads to learn on there like i said all about building your confidence in making predictions yourself being able to spot those weather windows five days in advance and having that confidence that you can trust the forecasts that you've seen uh go and have a look at the reviews at weather school um, and see what other pilots have said just under the reviews tab here and you can see there a list of um, the feedback that we get from other pilots it's all put on there so it's all honest feedback and as i say use the contact us form here to be able to let us know uh, that you'd like us to let you know when we announce the next dates for weather school okay i'll leave you with that for now whatever you do thanks again for watching have a great week keep the sun shining if you are managing to fly you jammy so and so's do so safely and uh, we'll update the forecast as usual on thursday thanks again for watching keep the sun shining and bye for now